Yo guys, what is going on? Happy Sunday. Um, yeah, we got a video today. We're gonna be talking about a lot. I'm hopping onto the video today a little bit not so happy. Uh, a little bit not so happy. And the reason for that um, is, boys, Hazard is out for the year. And I have a ones to watch of his, I think. I think I didn't sell it the other day. So he's 260k, man. He was 500k yesterday. 480, and now he's 260. He might even be going lower. He's too... Yeah, he's 270 at the moment, so that's uh, very unlucky, and it happens, right? But that's the one that I do have one, I think, if I went to my transfer list and looked right now, uh, I most likely have um, a Hazard Ones watch somewhere. I, I, I can... Did it sell? No way it sold. Oh my god, it sold yesterday. Somebody bought my Hazard for 460 yesterday. It's not on my transfer list. Unless it's actually listed right now, I don't have it. Yeah, because there's no way it's in my club. What a save, man, that is, because that was scaring me. Hopefully, it's not in my club. He's a 92. Please don't be here, man. Wow, we dodged the bullet. All right, so I thought he was... I, wow. Okay, well, this just got a lot better. Anyways. Woo. Um, so, we we, uh, we streamed yesterday off the PS. We're 12-0 and 0 currently. Um, that's where we're at with Weekly. Just to update you guys on the account and... I changed up the team a little bit because I told you guys on Friday I didn't know what the heck I was doing with my team. Uh, I'm using my Red Dybala this weekend because I love him. Um, he's one of my favorite players in real life. And we're playing him as a cam. And he's a ton of fun. He's really good. His dribbling responsiveness is awesome. So we're going to finish it out today. Um, and I'm just going to change around my squads from now on, man. Um, probably until team of the season. I'm not going to go like with God tier squads. I'm just going to try different players every weekend. Uh, it's the same situation where Veron and Vieira get subbed off. Mendy and KDB now come in. Uh, it's still the 4-1-2-2 two two narrow. And then the other change this weekend that I made was David Luis, his flashback card, uh, who is surprisingly surprisingly good. I'm, I'm, I've been surprised by him, so he's been solid. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the weekend league team. I know that some of you guys are interested in what we're doing and how we're mixing it around. In terms of overnight flips, uh, we didn't get much overnight, right? I six-houred a couple moments that I picked up last night. None of them sold. Uh, then I woke up and I relisted and they really did sell. So people are buying teams today. People are buying cards. Um, I just hit a Barnes at 1-3, so that's very good profit. It's like 100k. Um, and so, yeah. So, the, the real the real struggle and, like, complication right now, I bought a Balak and a Puyo this morning, is I have to um, I have to take the loss on a couple things that I tried to take the loss on the other day, and I just wasn't able to. Uh, Dries Mertens is one of them. I have to take the loss on him. And then I have all these Frankie De Jongs that I picked up as an investment from the ones to watch squad that just didn't do it. Um, they just didn't do it for me. And uh, I just didn't make coins off him. So I need to get out of those. Um, because, I mean, well, they're just, they're they're wasting they're wasting my transfer space, right? Because they're not doing anything. They're not progressing as investments. Um, and they're just merely sitting there. So we need to, like, make sure that we get out of these Frankies. Probably, I think the goal would be to sell on the hype of the next Barca game. But, I mean, that's not going to be that easy to do. And then I actually accidentally bought a Petit at a bad price yesterday. Um, so I got to try to sell that. He doesn't sell, man. I'm never trading that card again. Petit does not sell. Um, I haven't been able to sell him. Mine's been the cheapest on the market four different times and I haven't sold him. So I'm not, I'm kind of like starting to understand what icons are good, what icons aren't so good in terms of what sell and what don't sell. Um, and, and Petit is one of the guys that I don't, I just don't, I'm not going to pick him up. Even if I see like a, an insane deal, I'm just not buying him anymore. Um, that's good to see because I just, I did just pick up a ballot guys at two, two. Um, so I'm trying to sell him at two, three, eight. I think he's a fresh one. So we'll see how that goes at the moment. Guys, I've mainly been watching icon moments. They've been the most interesting for me. Um, they've kind of revived my want to do a little bit of trading. And I know that you guys have watched me a couple weeks ago and like I started trading a bunch of other special cards. And I think for me and my account, it's really important that I kind of like rotate my trading and rotate the types of players that I'm looking at. I did want to talk about shapeshifters tonight because I think there's going to be a buy window at squad battle rewards. Last week, I underestimated like how much these guys drop at squad battles um, and they drop a ton. So I, I really did underestimate that last week. I don't think I really took into account, um, you know, how much they dropped. The ones that I've seen have the most demand so far. Um, and Babu's a big one like this and Babu has a lot of demand and he's kind of rare. So look for a drop off with him tonight in terms of like demand. And what I mean by that is that you want to be looking for the cards that are getting bought the most um, and are holding the highest prices, right? Holding that. That's the demand sig signal, right? With a guy like, you know, I don't know, Adrissa Gay, right? 
he's a guy that, I mean, he just like, he started off 50k on Friday, now he's 40k, but he hasn't moved, like, I haven't seen him go from like 50 to 35, then up to 44, I haven't seen that, I've just seen him kind of go down, um, so that's something, I wanted to look into Hallen tonight at Squad Battles, because I think Hallen could go really low, um, but the issue with Hallen for me, again, is that same demand issue, right, he's got a lot of supply, and this guy came out into packs 500k, 400k, 300k, and now he's 250, 260, so he's not really like, he's not really spiked like that, um, which is concerning to me, right, it shows you that the card maybe doesn't have the largest demand, and, and when you're trading and when you're investing, uh, you, you're really looking for a card, you're looking for cards that have demand, like, let me give you guys examples, right, Marcelo has insane demand, this dude came out at 1.4 mil, he's 1.6 as we speak, he hasn't dropped in price, so this guy's demand is off the two chains, right, it's off the two chains in terms of like, how much people are playing with him and how much people like him, I would just go ahead and say Ben Yedder as well, Ben Yedder's another guy just with insane demand, um, this right wing card is just like rare as heck, and every time he goes under 1.7, he starts to sell, and then he goes right back up again, so I've noticed it big time with Ben Yedder as well, that this is a guy that really, really does sell, and has a lot, a lot of demand. Um, now, yesterday, we got an SBC as well, guys. We did get an SBC yesterday. That's cheap for close-up. Wow. Um, we got an SBC for Lucas Olazo, um, and I'm not going to be testing him out. He's high-high. He's in the La Liga. Um, it's not a bad card. I think it's like this tough... It's a really tough thing with SBCs right now because people get upset when EA drops, like, let's say, another Ben Yedder, right? Or in this promo team as an SBC, for example, without the one in packs right now. People are like, oh my god, I just did Ben Yedder's Player of the Month. That's so annoying, right? But it's like, then when they drop this kind of card, people get upset and they're like, who the heck is this guy? Why did they bring this SBC? And it's like, what other option can they do? They either bring no-name players and boost them, or they bring players that they've already that people already know about or have cards. And so that's where it's confusing. I think so far the SBCs is promo. Like, I truly I truly like that Mkhitaryan card. Um, I'm considering doing it. Um, because he was really good and he's available for three more days. I might put some of my fodder into him. Um, but I like this SBC. This is a guy that doesn't have a lot of SBCs and it's a really good card. I've tested him out. This guy I have no idea about because he doesn't interest me, right? There's no way that he's going to get into my team, but he doesn't look awful. So I think it's a tough balance with EA and them trying to figure out, uh, like exactly what to do. Um, and so I think that's not easy. I think that like we, we as a community have to decide, that we just want good I personally for me I just want good player SBCs. I know it's annoying if like they bring a Neymar SBC and you just did Neymar a month ago, but it, it's a part of the life cycle of foot, man. It, it it's how it works, man. It just it can be like that, man. It's not it's, and it's annoying and I get it. But that's that's a big part of how Ultimate Team um is structured. There's just the capability that there could be an SBC at any point in time um is big, right? So let's talk about a little bit about how you guys um you know, any of you guys... Oh, Messi's 3-1. Wow, this guy dropped a lot overnight. I have not heard anything about Messi, so I'm going to have to test him out this week because I want to know about that high-low. Um, let's talk a little bit about how you guys can make coins. So, squad battle rewards tonight, right? Keep your eye on a couple of these players from Shapeshifters uh, that are very in demand. You guys could also take a look at Team of the Week tonight. I don't know if we've really spoken about Team of the Week tonight. Or not tonight, rather. Sorry, just in general. But in terms of this Team of the Week, there are a couple of really good investments and I think today, I think today slash tomorrow will be your last time to really buy before they start going up. Um, so guys that I really, really like in this team of the week, I do like Paulo Dybala. Um, but low budget, man. Party, Savage, Moreno, those guys look great. And I'm expecting a little bit of a rise out of Klosterman out of packs, right? He's got a dynamic image, he's got 88 pace, and he's 18,000 coins. So I can see this dude rising a little bit out of packs. I can definitely see it happening. Um... It's just about finding that right price. And I think for this guy, I, from what I've seen, the right price looks to be 15 to 16K. It's a, it's a really good option for a Bundesliga center back. It's important that he's got the baseline of over 80 defending and over like 85 pace. That's just the typical sweaty meta card that people are just going to be interested in. Um, so that's a guy that I think would be a decent look to pick up. Whenever we get any sort of mass supply, that would be a guy that I really, really think is decent um, You know, for you guys to pick up and, and potentially invest in, right? Now... I was a little bit confused, and I wanted to talk about this today. I bought Squad Fitnesses last weekend, um, and they were 1.7K. I don't know why they're a lot cheaper right now, 
Um, and if anybody in the comments or, you know, somebody could tell me, they're a lot cheaper. Now, this whole concept of pay to play is still the dumbest thing ever. Why the hell do we have to pay to play? Um, I will never know why this is a thing, but um, they're cheaper, man. They were one, I was paying 1.7 for these last weekend. And it looks like at the moment now I'm paying 1.2, right? So they're a lot cheaper and I don't really know why. Um, and I'm not going to complain, but I'm going to hop on and pick up some of these right now. And, you know, if you guys have games to play, I suggest doing the same thing. Because sometimes these guys just really creep up in price. And it's just like annoying, right? You got to pay, pay sometimes 2,000 coins to literally play a game of foot champs. And the system is so backwards, right? Because you're paying 1.2 per game. And I think match coin wise, you only get... I don't think you get a lot of coins per game. I think you get like 500 coins per game. So I always find the system to be just very flawed, man. I don't understand why we still have contracts and fitness. Like you should have a team and your team should be able to perform every single game. You, you, you know, you toss that team into play. I don't, I don't really get why EA still, you know, have this scenario where we're having to pay to play these games. I don't, it's really, really annoying um, to be fair. So yeah, um, today is Sunday, guys, in terms of the content, so I'm not expecting anything today. Um, Sunday content is probably going to be not happening. There's usually not much. I think the other weekend there was something on Sunday, and everybody was like, oh, my God, whoa. Um, and that could happen today, but just don't bet on it. And so, yeah, I think the moments this week, guys, are going to start to crawl downwards again if you guys are interested in any icon moments. I think, like, you know, as this weekend league ends, we saw a big correction with a lot of these cards. Um in the week last week as as the week went on and i think i think that we'll continue to see that my fifa has froze um so i will end the video there because i don't feel like restarting my fifa thank you guys for watching the helpful today i appreciate it and i'll see you guys soon Bye bye